Good morning. In today's lecture, I have confined the three topics. One, two and three. And now I will discuss one by one. First, electric field lines or electric lines of force. Here I must know it is better to say electric field lines, not lines of force. So, what are electric field lines? It is defined, it is defined as a curve along which a small positive charge along which a small positive charge would tend to move would tend to move if it is free to if it is free to do so in an electric field and the tangent to which at any point gives the direction of electric field at that point. So this is the definition of electric field lines or lines of force. We will have a clear picture if we go through some of its properties. There are a very large number of properties of electric field lines. Let us have a quick look regarding the main five properties of electric field lines. So let's have a quick look. You give any properties. Properties. Number two part. Properties. Number one. Electric field line. Electric field line is a smooth continuous is a smooth continuous curve without any break without any breaks number 2 they start from positive end and end at negative end and at negative end but do not form but do not form closed loops it is for two charge system but for a single charge for a single charge they start from or end at infinity. They start from or end at infinity. Number three, the tangent at any point on the curve, the tangent at any point on the curve gives the direction of the electric field, gives the direction of the electric field at that point. 
नंबर फोर नो टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस नो टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस कैन क्रॉस ईच अदर नंबर फाइव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस do not pass through a charge conductor do not pass through a charge conductor because electric field because electric field inside a charge conductor inside a charge conductor is zero so these are the five properties i have discussed here now we should have more clear picture regarding the properties let's see i have given electric field lines is a smooth continuous curve without any breaks so if i draw a curve like this this can represent electric field line it is one of the electric field lines now if i take any point there one point there and the other point is there at this very point if i draw a tangent like this at this point i can draw a tangent like this at this point i can draw a tangent like this <coughs> then we see that at different points the direction of the tangents are different that means the direction of electric field may be different at different points or positions the direction of electric field may be different at different points or positions but at a particular point or at a particular position the direction of electric field always unique that means it is always in a particular directions so now the fourth point the electric field lines never cross each other now you see if possible it is not possible if possible let us assume that two electric field lines cross each other we are assuming that two electric field lines crossing each other and this is the intersecting point now at this intersecting point for this curve we will have the direction of the tangent in this way but for this blue curve the direction of the tangent will be in this direction now for this point or position we are having two tangents and clearly we are having two directions so which is not possible for a particular point or position and that's why no two electric field lines can cross each other now you can have the reason no two electric field lines can cross each other now you can write the reason j its reason is j if two field lines if two field lines cross each other cross each other then at the intersecting point then at the intersecting point there will be two tangents there will be two tangents and hence two directions of electric field two directions of electric field two directions of electric field at a point which is not possible which is not possible what i have said i think you have understood the if two field lines intersect each other then at the intersecting point there will be two tangents and clearly there will be two directions of electric field at a particular point or position which is not possible and hence two electric field lines never cross each other now we are coming to the third point of discussion now you see 
what is the third point electric field lines for different charge systems electric field lines for different charge systems so first one i am taking a single positive charge now for this single positive charge the electric field lines will be radially outward radial means like a wheel radial so for a unit positive charge electric field lines will be radially outward and for a single negative charge electric field lines electric field lines will be radially inward electric field lines will be radially inward this is radially outward and this is radially inward number 2 if i take one positive charge and one negative charge that means two like charge i am having giving the heading two like two two equal but unlike charges two equal but unlike charges then what will happen the electric field lines start from positive end and at negative end the electric field lines start from positive end and at negative end they will go on like this this is for two equal but unlike charges now if i take the third one two equal and like charges two equal and like charges for two equal and like charges they will be pushed away from each other they will be pushed away from each other you can take negative charges also both negative charges then same electric field lines direction you will get it so here we are saying for two equal but unlike charges they start from positive and end at negative and here we are saying the they are they means electric field lines they are pushed away from each other they are pushed away from each other so 1.1 2.1 3.1 and the fourth point if i take a charge conductor suppose i have taken a charge conductor like this electric field lines will be parallel electric field lines will be parallel now these are parallel lines but they are normal to the surface of conductor that means electric field lines are parallel they are parallel don't be confused these are parallel lines they are parallel but normal to the normal to the surface of conductor normal to the surface of conductor and that is my today's lecture hope you have understood coming for the next video thank you